My name's Shefton Hill, Game Director on Batman Arkham Asylum. Today I'll be demoing one of the challenge mode maps to give you just a small taster of the Invisible Predator gameplay in Batman. Let's start with looking at what is Predator gameplay. Deep inside Arkham Asylum, Batman is faced with insurmountable odds. The place is full of Joker's henchmen chipped in from Blackgate, and they're armed and ready for him. And as we all know, Batman is not superhuman. They know you're coming, but they don't know where or how. So Predator gameplay is all about using Batman's advantages, his intelligence, his agility, his gadgets, and his ability to plan and prepare before striking. So here we have Joker's henchmen all grouped tightly together, and I need to figure out a way to break them up and get them moving around the level. So I'll drop down here behind this weak wall and use my explosive gel to set a trap. I can explode the gel and use the debris from the wall to knock out the henchmen behind it. I can move up here around the vantage points around the top of the room and look back down at where I laid the charge before and then detonate the charge and incapacitate the henchmen behind the wall. And what you can see immediately happen is the thugs dynamically react to this. So the first thug that gets to the down body calls over his buddies and they set up a perimeter. Come on, wake up! And what we're going to see here is an example of the dynamic gameplay. They're going to start searching for me around the room. I don't know where I am, but I could be anywhere. There are no set patrol paths for the thugs, and every time you play the game, it's different. So even me demoing the game for you, I have no idea what's going to happen. Is anyone feeling a little stressed out there? Your heart racing? Well, get a grip and stop for that. I'm using detective mode to hunt down isolated henchmen. And one good strategic tip here is that it's much easier for the henchmen to jump down than it is for them to climb up. So if you see this henchman on the upper walkway here, he's managed to lose himself from the other guys, and I can pick him off without any of the other henchmen being able to get to me quick enough before I can make my escape. So I'm just checking out where the other henchmen are to make sure there's room enough for me to take him down, and I'll use the Batarang here to knock him down. I'm going to go for a headshot because the headshot's going to stun him for longer. But after I've hit him, I still need to go down there and finish the job off to incapacitate him. So I'll glide down, drop on him, and perform a ground takedown. And then quickly grapple up to a gargoyle to make my escape. Now I've managed to take this guy down without attracting any attention. But Joker's fitted all of his thugs with these suicide collars. Joker's using these to identify when I knock out any of his thugs so he can direct the other thugs to them. So you can see the other thugs have been attracted up to the body and there's one calling out for the other thugs to establish a perimeter around it. Now what I'm actually playing here is the challenge mode. And the challenge mode has a number of specific takedowns that you need to try and achieve. Two of those takedowns were a Batarang takedown and using the debris from a wall. You can see the white bats under the time signifying the fact that I've already done those two takedowns. But I have a third takedown to do, which is a silent takedown. So hiding under these grates, you can see the camera stays up outside the grate and allows me to track people moving up above. And I'm going to use this to take down this thug here, just a quick look around there to make sure no one else is around. And as he moves past, just come up behind him and take him down silently. So up till now, you've seen I've been quite patient with the different takedowns I've used. But you can be more aggressive, that's totally your choice. Uh, let's try a more aggressive takedown here. There's a few less of them around, so I can be a little bit more confident in the different tactics I'll use. So I'll try a glide takedown here on this guy, who's responding to the ground takedown that I've done there. So he's on his way there, you can see the bat icon above his head, it signifies he's in range for the glide kick. I'll just check no one else is around, and then I can drop down, knock him to the ground, That'll only stun him for a while, so I need to move up and finish him off. And then again, grapple back, up and out, because that's a very noisy takedown, the glide kick. It's going to attract people very quickly to it. So it is a dangerous tactic to use, but it's also a very effective tactic to use. So now we're down to just a couple of henchmen left. And when they realise that, you'll see their behaviour starts to change as well, as they become more and more terrified. So again, Joker's ordering his henchmen around. 
but you'll see that they start to become more and more nervous to follow his orders. The henchman there has gone up, but the second henchman isn't so keen to follow behind him. And this, again, is not something that's always predictable, but the way their behaviour changes as you play through means you constantly have to adapt your tactics. What are you doing? I need help! You're on your own, man. Rules have changed. So as they get more and more terrified, the thugs lose their discipline. This does make them harder to track down because they move back and forward. But let's see what happens when I drop right in on them here. I can still use all the combat tactics from the main game and finish him off with a nice combo takedown. And again, the noise from this is going to attract another thug. But even on the ground level, Batman can use cover. So using this corner cover here, I can bat around the thug. He doesn't even know I'm there. And then go around and finish him off. So I hope you enjoyed this brief look at just a few of the Invisible Predator features in Batman Arkham Asylum. Ah!